here is one of those videos you can have fun with by using round objects like lids, cups, and even plumbing pipes to make your own designs for a variety of different construction details, including the edges of a patio roof cover by simply placing the round object on a board like this to create a curved shape at the bottom or even the top of a 2x6 or a 2x8 rafter. And you've seen plenty of these details before, and some of you are probably even wondering how they did it. And in most cases, they have templates that they use to create a variety of different designs that you are probably familiar with. And I'm going to show you how to do a couple of those in this video, starting with a two by six Raptor. And I just kind of drew some lines here to represent a one inch measurement here, a one inch measurement here and a couple of different measurements here. You can change and modify these measurements to create a different shape. And by the time you're done watching this video, you're probably going to be able to get pretty creative with your design. So here we're just simply taking and placing one of the round objects on top of the board so that we can line it up with a couple of our measurements. And you don't have to do anything to this design if this is something you like. Don't be afraid to try something different, maybe something you've never seen before. And this is what it would look like after we cut our shaped board. And not a bad looking design here. And if we wanted to raise this up, we could. And if we wanted to have the curve go from here to here, we could probably do that also. And trust me, there are plenty of these designs you could make with only a few round objects. So here we're going to take a larger object and we're going to line it up with this point here. And then we're simply going to rotate the object to where it lines up with this point here to create a similar design. And by simply moving it, I'm still going to have it pivoting off of this point here, but I'm going to bring it down. I can change the design a little in the same way it would if I moved it out a little bit or in this case, moved it up a little bit. And in this one here, I'm simply going to come off of this point here and then just move it a little bit. I'm not lining it up with this point here. I'm moving it up. And in this one here, I'm going to come back an inch and line it up with a similar mark here. If you notice, I've got three and a half here, one inch here, one inch here, three and a half here to provide us with two intersecting points that will provide us with a line here and a line here and then a curved line here that would look something like this. And here's what it would look like after it was cut. So this is a popular design for a patio cover. I've made them myself and bought them from the lumber yards. You can buy these already shaped, or at least I could from a couple of lumber yards around here in Southern California. And here's another common shape. And all we're doing with this one here is lining this one up here with our one inch line here and our one inch line here. So we're going to come in straight a little bit and then curve and then go back to a square line coming off of this edge here. So another pattern that isn't too difficult to make. And I'm not about to suggest that you can't pull a radius off of this right here. You can't use a tape measure and simply draw a line here. I do have a video on that. I will put a link to that in the video description box to provide you with another way to lay out some of this stuff. And that would look something like this. In our next example, let's go ahead and create a couple of more lines here. And you can see how we did it here. Came in one inch, one inch, another inch, and then did the same here. And then we're going to simply grab one of the round objects that we like, place it in here, and then draw a line around it to create something like this here. Another common design that you might not be aware of how easy it is to create a pattern for something like this out of a scrap piece of lumber, maybe a piece of plywood that can be used to lay out and mark all of the building components that you're going to need this design for. And of course, that one will look something like this. 
If I want to reverse that, I can simply grab my round object and simply trace it in this direction here instead of in this direction here to end up with a shape like this one here. So again, not too difficult to do. With round objects, you can usually find laying around your house. So another popular design here. Now you know how to do it. And let's go ahead and wrap this video up with a few more designs you can use to create a different style here. Again, if you like something like this or this here, and don't be afraid to use straight lines. Come off with a round corner at the top, maybe at the bottom, connect it with a straight line. Maybe do something like this if that's going to work for you. Now, I will make another video. I'll be glad to make a follow-up video of more details and how they can be drawn. Let me know in the comment area if you want to see them. If not, have fun designing your own decorative geometric shapes for a variety of different things that you can use to build around your house.